everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way, by sitting on our bottom and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through the cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at the colours. Isn't it amazing? Oh, all the shapes. Can you see the picture? Oh, yes, it's a parrot. It's Desi the parrot. Oh, what's Desi doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing moon pose. Or is it banana pose? This is very exciting. We're off to meet Stezzy in the Brazilian rainforest. We're going to have to take a flight, so let's get ready. We roll our shoulders round and round. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two. Put down one, put down two. Going up, up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then we reach our arms up very tall and keeping our bottoms firmly planted on the ground, we take our hands down in front of us like two flip-flops. Ready? Flip-flop, flip-flop. <gasps> Keep your bottom on the floor and let's flip-flop back again. Flip-flop, flip-flop, flip. Well done, everyone. It's time to get on the aeroplane. We come to two knees and we take our arms out wide. We take one hand down onto the ground and wave at the sky. We bring one foot in front of our knee and shoot our back leg out to the side. We lift our hip and we go... All the way round one way and then come on to the other side. Two knees arms wide, drop down onto the other side, wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. Lift your hips and let's go now again. Ready? Here we are in Brazil. Oh, it's very hot. We reach up to the sun and say hello sun. Ready? Here we go. Hello sun. And here comes Stezzy, flying towards us. Folding halfway down, take your wings down. Reach them up and lower them down. Up and lower them down. He lands in front of us, reaching his wings all the way up and doing a ruffly puffly with his beak as he lowers them down. Welcome, Cosmic Kids. I need your help. All of my friends in the jungle, they keep complaining about being bored. I'm bored when it rains. I'm bored all the time. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Can you help me come up with some ideas? I'm sure we can. We may have said things like that before as well. But Stezzy leads the way through the very tall trees. Coming to one foot on top of the other, using your heel, your hands together at your heart, grow your tree up really tall. And because you're a tree in the rainforest, you're a very strong tree, aren't you? Hmm, let me see how strong you are. I'll try and blow you down. Ready? Doopy doopy doo. -do -do. You are strong. What about the other side? Shall we try? Coming onto the other foot now, bring your foot on top of your other foot, hands together, grow up nice and tall. Now, can you close your eyes? <gasps> oh, gets a bit wobbly then, doesn't it? <gasps> I think we should open them again. Well done, everyone. Now, Stezzy has led the way all the way through the trees. We now need to cross the river in a little boat. We sit down on our bottoms, take our hands behind, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand and lift up no hands and give me a wave. 
Well done. We row this little boat across the river and Stezzy teaches us a new song for our row, row, row your boat. Ready? Lifting up one of your oars, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak. Well done, everyone. And he teaches us another one on the other side. Take hold of your other oar. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Ah, very good, everyone. We get out of the little boat and it starts to rain. Oh, well, I suppose we are in the rainforest. Here we go. Use your fingers and pitter-patter them all over your head. Oh, and your face. Oh, that feels nice. All over your body, your tummy, down your legs. My goodness, can you reach your feet? And your arms all the way up and down. We see a cave. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head. And we go and take shelter. Inside the cave, coming down to sit, is a big, beautiful blue butterfly. Joining the soles of your feet together, hold on to your feet. This butterfly is called Macaroni, and he lifts his wings and lowers them a bit glumly. Oh, I'm so bored. It's raining outside. I can't go out. I've got to stay in my cave. Oh, Macaroni, we know that feeling, but sometimes when you're bored, you just need to relax and let the ideas come in. Oh, we have an idea. Why don't we go upside down with a dog pose? Going upside down is a great way to refresh your mind. We show Stezzy and Macaroni how to do it. Coming onto your hands and your knees, everyone. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. Walk your feet in a tiny bit and then press yourself down into your dog pose. Woof, 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 woof. Coming all the way down again. Going upside down has given us some really good ideas. We spot in the back of Macaroni's cave a fancy dress box. Sitting on your bottoms, join the soles of your feet together, hold onto your feet and close your head down towards your feet like you're closing your fancy dress box. We open it up. And inside we find lots of fun costumes from last year's Halloween. We stand up and we spin into them, spinning all the way round from one side to the other. Stezzy puts on a big white sheet and flies around the cave pretending to be a ghost, coming into flying pose. Turning to the side, find a spot to focus on in front of you, take your arms wide, lift up one of your feet, try not to wobble, and send your foot back behind you, coming into your flying pose. He even does ghost noises. And let's try it on the other side. Coming to face the other way now. Find a spot to focus on. Arms wide. Lift your foot. Try not to wobble. And send your foot out back behind you. Coming into your flying pose on the other side. Oop. Well done, everyone. Now, Macaroni finds some long black spider legs and turns himself into a spider. Take your feet wide, bend your knees and take your fingers down in between your feet. Then we go ticka, 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 ticka to the outside, turning ourselves into little spiders. And we find some bat wings. Standing up, everyone, we put the bat wings on our back. Then we turn to face the wrong way with our legs wide. We fold all the way forwards to look through our legs. Can you see me? Give me a wave. Hi! Well done, everyone. And look, outside, the sun's shining again. Coming all the way up to stand, turning around, sitting on your bottoms and bring the soles of your feet back together again. Because Macaroni flutters away.
He waves. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. I really enjoyed that. You've helped me learn how not to be bored. Now, after that, it's very muddy out here on the hill. In fact, it's turned into a mudslide. Point your toes all the way forwards. Take your hands back behind you and lift yourself up, coming into your slide pose. Now, Stezzy can fly down, but we're going down this mudslide surface style. So we stand up, we put one foot forward, one foot back and bend our knee. We take our arms out wide and we surf down the mud. Whee! We jump our feet the other way whoop, and we surf the other side too. Whee! The sun is going down and we cross a little bridge, sitting on your bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you. We're going to have a little rest in Stezzy's family nest. We stand up and we tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe inside. We don't want to wake up Stezzy's family. They're all having a nice sleep. Sitting on your bottoms, cross your legs. We switch on a very lovely fan to keep us cool. Bringing your fingers in front of your mouth, do a long breath, ready? The blades of the fan go round and round and keep us lovely and cool. And we lie ourselves back in a bed of beautiful soft feathers enjoying some lovely time to rest and be still after our incredible adventure in the jungle, in the rainforest. As we lie here, we think about how we help Macaroni learn not to be bored. And that actually being bored is often a sign that we need to relax a little bit. We can get very busy. And so being bored is actually a good way of stopping for a moment, relaxing and making room for new ideas to come. So next time you feel bored, see if you can just relax and see what ideas spring to mind. We lie very still, enjoying this lovely, peaceful place. And then we start to wake ourselves up, wiggling our toes, our fingers, giving our knees a big hug into our chest and rocking over to one side, coming up to sit with our eyes open and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to Brazil to meet Stezzy with me. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye! After that, for a little while, it feels better. Phew! I'm glad I got rid of my mean bug. All that yucky feeling. But unfortunately, it doesn't work as easily as this. Because the mean bug loves it when you are mean and will pop up again. After feeling better, you might start to feel bad for being mean. <laughs>